So here we have the Oculus Rift S VR headset with wireless controllers. Very simple, what comes in the box, just the headset with your USB 3 cable and your DV cable. These are the handsets. They come with AA batteries, very easy to set up and insert. These handles actually are a third party accessory, also available on Amazon and a great addition if I do say so. So the setup of the Oculus Rift is actually very simple, but you have to make sure that your graphics card has a DV input, and if it doesn't, you actually can get a DV input to uh, HDMI trans uh, converter, and that you can plug that into your graphics card. Uh, the installation of your VR is uh, very simple. I actually have six foot extension cables running through the back of my PC into my graphics card. So. First you install your TV cable and then your USB 3 cable. Once those are connected, you got to make sure that you have your Oculus Rift program. You go ahead and open up that and follow these steps for installing a new device. And there we go, it's connected. Very simple setup with this. Sensor check, everything automatically pairs your controllers. And then a little breakdown, manual, blah, blah, blah. Gotta watch that. About 50 seconds. All that, your Oculus and touch controllers will be connected. There you go. And then you just, all you gotta do is put it on. So for adjusting the headset, we have a knob here on the back that will loosen your headband this way so a good way and then at the top we have a velcro strap and this will adjust for height head height you can loosen that and velcro it down where you would like the only other adjustment the oculus has is this button right here and this button will adjust this part of your oculus so what that does is brings the oculus either closer or further away from your eyes. So that's just for comfort on the inside. So for adjusting the narrowness between the eyes, that's actually done in the software on the VR. So just as a review on the oculus from play and just use, I've had it for about two weeks now and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I do think at a price point around $600 tax in, it's a great purchase really as an entry point just to test the waters in VR. I was thinking about getting the Valve Index, but that's around $1,400 before tax. And I really wasn't sure if I wanted to invest that money, if I really enjoyed the VR as much as I would play and get the use out of it. But for $600, I do think this is just perfect. It's amazing. I've had so much fun with it. It's great to play with friends. And uh, if you're a gamer and this is the kind of stuff you're into, uh, I do think that it's a good purchase. So that's the VR. Oculus Rift S.